I joined the Army in May of 99. And uh, in 2006, I was attached with the 10th Special Forces. And on my second tour to Iraq, um, we were getting ready to leave a target in a firefight. And I stood up and I was helping two medics in the back of the hum to get in the back of the Humvee. And I was struck in the right shoulder and it went all the way through my chest into my left armpit and um, punctured my lung, broke a couple of ribs. And uh, it took 45 minutes to leave the target before I was even ready for evacuation. And then about 20 minutes after driving, they finally had to call in air support because I, I had passed out for about 30 minutes at that point. And um, they air medevaced me to 10th Cache in Baghdad, stabilized me, and then they moved me from 10th Cache to Balad Air Force Base. And I had my surgery, a thoracotomy, and they repaired my lung. And then after that, I was uh, transported to Landstuhl. And uh, actually, they told my wife that why in transport, I started, I guess, dying again. Or something happened where they was on life support again. And I was on life support for about, I think, two days at that point. And then when I got to Landstuhl, they stabilized me again. And pretty much from there, I was there about a couple more days. And then I was moved to Walter Reed. And I spent uh, almost two and a half weeks there, which I was extremely fast recovery from everyone else who had been shot like I was. Everyone else seemed to take longer to recover. Just, and uh, from start to finish, I was about 25 days from the time I got shot to the time I was released and back to pretty much full function by, the, by that December.